Hey, ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? Eddie Marcus here. I make a few comments on some things I've listened to over the past few days. I heard uh, what, I, what was it? MTG Miss Green make a statement at one of her hearings talking about dirty water. Dirty water kills about nine thousand babies a day. I don't know if that's true, but that's what she was stating. 9,000 babies a day. Michigan, dirty water. Mississippi, dirty water. Dirty, dirty, dirty water. Well, water might kill a lot of them, but I'm sure hunger does as well. So there is a way where we can deal with the water situation and the hunger situation at the same time. In fact, there are many things we can do at the same time. <clears throat> what we need to do, really, is bring back some life to America. You remember when you were younger? A teenager? You remember uh, 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 a younger? You remember how much excitement was in life? How much excitement was in life as a teenager? How much excitement was in life as a young adult? Get a little bit older, hair breaks loose. <laughs> Not for everybody. Some people are prepared, and so they go right on with the situation of life as they had planned. But you know, you can never uh, know who's out to destroy you. You can never know unless you are continuously doing those righteous things, always doing things that are commendable. Then you can tell a thief, a liar, a crook every time. You know, but, but that's how that thing goes. We are also talking about people getting killed with guns. Little boy going to pick up his sibling, knock on the door, bam, shot in the head and in the arm. I don't want to say a thief, but I. Shot twice. Another girl turned up in somebody's yard or something like that. She gets shot. Another girl thinking one car is her. How many times you come out of a store and call yourself going to your car and it's not your car? You, you, it's happened to me many times. I'm sure it happened to you too, but we were able to walk away. Hmm. Just think about what it would have been like if we had gotten shot. Well, the thing about it is that when I was making my mistakes, guns weren't so available. But now guns are like the wild, wild west. Everybody got to have a gun. Everybody got to protect their rights for to have a gun. And as soon as everybody got a gun, then they want to share. And as soon as the good people with the guns whip the shells, but now they want to find somebody to come in and clean up the town. And when they clean up the town, what's the first thing they do? They collect the guns. Well, a lot of folks don't know that. <laughs> They just as backward as backward can be. But you know, people are always like that because we live in a system that does not require what well, it actually requires if you want peace and prosperity, there's a certain way to conduct yourself. But most people don't do that. We have a situation where people not too long ago tried to overthrow this government by lying. I mean just outright bold face lying. I remember when I was I think I mentioned this once before, when I was a young boy. I moved. I went to Chicago one summer. And I wanted to go back to high school with hair on my face. You know, you're in high school, you a junior or senior like this, and you got hair on your face. You think you a man? You got hair in your chest? Oh boy! And I went and bought some stuff out of a magazine. Twenty bucks. Woo! I had to work hard for twenty bucks, but I got it. Rub, rub. Went back to school after the summer was over. I had just as clean as I was when I came, but I was $20 broke. Oh, I didn't like that at all. You see, we got this thing that happened with Fox. How Fox told those same kind of lies. Perpetrated that stuff all over the United States for years and still doing it. All those guys. Then they knew they were doing it, but it didn't matter. It did. Can you imagine, ladies and gentlemen, what it's like if the husband tell the wife a lie, wife tell the husband a lie, children get in there telling lies, everybody lying? Can you just imagine a family where everybody's lying to one another? Woo! You haven't seen anything to everybody's lying. Somebody got to tell the truth. Well, it's better if you're going to try to work out a situation where we as a people are going to be together, going to be a family, then we're going to have to have some respect for one another. We, there are going to be certain things that we can be confident that we'll adhere to, like telling the truth. Uh, there might be time when you lie, but we understand when those times are, so we know you might lie. But things like telling the truth on certain things like what we deal with every day, like who won an election, oh no, you got to, come on. But anyway, here's, what, here's the big picture that I mentioned that of, this group called Dominion. 
I had the suit against Fox, misrepresentation, lies, and all that kind of stuff. Wanted a whole bunch of money. And the American people who were not Foxes, who were not Trumpers, they've listened to these lies for seven years. And they thought and hoped that they had the opportunity for somebody to come before this group, come before the nation, and tell the people the truth. Uh, confirm what we already knew and tell those people, Trump or people, who were deceived, and I know what that means because I was deceived by that same Trump one time, to tell them the truth. You tell them the truth and give it to them in such a way, they'll be glad to believe the truth. So um, we were hoping that Dominion would do that. And so Dominion got to the door, had us all happy. Now the truth's going to come out. The man took out his pocketbook, took out his wallet or a checkbook and wrote a check. Now it's like nothing has happened. We don't get a chance to confirm anything. The people who believe those lies still believe them. Everything, the whole crookedness still going. And what was it? Money. You sell out your life, sell out your soul for money. This is why I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that's the way evil works. Evil gets you side focused on the things that will give you life and focus you on the things that will take your life. And uh, this is the way life is. Now, for me, I have to ask you. You've heard me speak all the time. And I always speak about peace and prosperity. You know the whole story. And, and I talk about God as that being that invisible spirit that you allow to live in you. And I know how some people feel about God. I know how some atheists are and others who got their own idea about God to the degree they don't accept nothing that anyone else say. But I would like to make it known for now and forevermore. All of the things I say about God, I'm convinced that they're true. However, if they are not true, if I were God, then I definitely do not claim to be God or want to be God. There's too much happening that I know nothing about. But about the few things that I know about that has to deal with we, the people, the kind of life that we all are exposed to every day, all our lives. That stuff I'm quite familiar with. That stuff that works and makes it beautiful, that stuff that does not. So if I were God, first one of the first things I would do is I heal my body. <laughs> I give myself a little bit more time, healthy time. But then after that, <clears throat> as far as you the people are concerned, Americans, I'm going to restrict this to Americans. And if I could be successful in doing this for America, then I would try to do it for the whole earth. But with America, my first concern would get you to understand who you are. Get you to love yourself, to respect yourself, to be proud individuals again. And one of the ways to do that is to say to you that you are somebody. You came on this earth to do something, to have a career. And one of the things that I would try to do, I can't do it myself. I got to carry it to the people and try to convince the people to go along with it. And that is that everybody in this country got a, a career, one that they love, that will give them their greatest joy. Give them their greatest joy. And then I would try to explain it to them in such a way that when you get all of the people, all of us, 300 million of us, as much of those, as many of those that are, can work old enough or whatever, get us engaged in the thing of building what we the people need. Houses, food, clothing, shelter, education, health care, transportation, beautiful cities, boats and planes and ships so we can go out in outer space. All of those things that any of us can enjoy, or should I say every last one of us can enjoy if we so decide or choose. Now, simple stuff, resources free. We the people are going to benefit from this stuff. And so we engage and make it. That way we don't have to buy nothing. This stuff belongs to us. Nobody can say we're nobody. We have created our heaven on earth by putting the spirit that we can't see, allowing it to live in us and all. That's what I see. Ladies and gentlemen. And I know from that, that you, we will live in peace and be prosperous and have freedom. We'd have joy and happiness in our lives. Our dreams we could live, our needs, our wants, and our desires met. Ain't no shame in my game. If I were God, not one human being in America would be suffering for anything that I just mentioned. I don't care if you're black, white, hate, a racist, a bigot, a, whatever you are. If you lived in America, my emphasis and my advocacy would be to get all of the American people to forgive one another for the stupidity that we are. And to grant each of us the opportunity to shine like the sun. 
by being as good as we can imagine ourselves being. I don't care how people beat us, we're going to be showing up good. And if any stupid stuff come along, we let that power that we cannot see handle it. I thought I'd just share that with you, ladies and gentlemen. So I have no shame in my game. If I were God, you'd have food. I'm not like Trump. I'm not like those people that are trying to keep people from crossing the border. I know how you can cross that border. I'm not like uh, the mega group talking about hate and racism. I know where that story goes. So, yeah, I, yeah, if I, look here, the people over there, when I talk about over there, I'm talking about Republicans. That stuff that they told you about God, even in the last election, that God to me is Satan. Yep, that God to me is Satan. I, the God that I tell you about would never be engaged in stuff like that. It would be engaged in liberation. Hearts for liberation. I'm going to go now. Talk to you later.